Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'll be demonstrating how I created this painting using the balloon dip technique. Um, I wanted something that looked um, um, like flowers. I wanted some shapes that looked like flowers um, with, you know, petals and, and, and stems and that kind of thing. But I didn't want it to look like it was growing in a garden. I wanted it to be very abstract and my brain likes to make patterns. So I'm really happy with how this uh, abstract uh, painting turned out. I hope you enjoy it too. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more, subscribe to my channel. And um, stay to the very end for close-ups of the wet and dry results. And in the description box below this video is the, uh, the list of the colors that I've used, as well as the hints and tips I have for the technique. I call it the keys to success. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy. Hello, everyone. So today I'm going to do a balloon dip. I have a 24 by 36 inch canvas. I've already put down a base coat of white um, and that is um, mixed with my regular pouring medium in Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Uh, just a, a flat basic surface. I have lots of colors to show you, but first let me show you the consistency of my paints. So. These are very thick paints for me. They leave a mound on a mound on a mound. You see how they kind of how the color kind of folds over top of itself as it leaves the, the stick? That's what we're looking for, something really thick like that. And so I will list all of my colors and then speak them out. I will list all of the colors in the uh, description box below. But I have uh, two blues, two violets, two reds, two turquoises, and two purples. So um, I have a dark and a light of each color, and then I also have um, uh, Josonia's um, deep gold and a pearl white mixture. This is um, uh, titanium white and Vallejo pearl medium uh, mixed evenly, uh, even e equal parts, and then um, mixed with my regular pouring medium. So um, that is what we're going to do today, and we are using uh, just a regular standard balloon. It's inflated pretty, um, pretty far because I want this, um, my balloon dips to be as um, wide as possible. So. That is what we're doing. So we're going to start with our very first one right here, basically in the center. And I'm, I'm, I, all of my cups are paper cups so that I can pinch the tip like this and create a puddle. Fairly decent sized puddle of blue there. With this blue, I'm going to use this violet color. And then every one of these will receive a little bit of gold. first puddle. So I want these to kind of look like flowers. So I'm going to dip and then I'm going to pull it back directly towards myself so that it creates a little stem coming off of the side. So we're going to dip straight down. And as we pull up, we're going to pull it back. Oh, that's pretty. First violet one, we're going to come down a little bit. And if I do one here and here, 
Actually, I should do this one first. I want red here. Let's put this in the same spot. Nice healthy layer of the widow red. A little bit of this uh, pearl violet, or pearl um, purple.
an overhead shot of my balloon dips. I'm really pretty happy with it. I love the pattern of it. I love the colors together. It really, really appeals to me. So let me take you in for some close-ups of each of these. So we'll start here in the, in what is currently the right-hand side. Look at the beautiful cells that we got in that smash right there. And it does matter when you're making your piles, whether you make the make circles or if you, um, you know, vary up the pattern different ways. In this spot right here, I intentionally brought the pink over top and uh, and past the barrier of the uh, um, the turquoise to see what uh, kind of pattern it would make. And it definitely pulled that down, so you get really great motion with that. I love where the the pearl white and the Turquoise, or oh, here we go. There we go. Getting closer. 
when you pull back and pull that paint, it really creates some beautiful lines. Look at that, so cool. And actually there's another one over here. I'll actually go from the bottom up and come up to where it has like the base or stem for the flower. Really nice, love that gold over top of the, um, that deep red color. I can never remember the Bordeaux, the Bordeaux red. But look at that, that um, pearl violet. So pretty, really nice together. And uh, I love the way that that edge kind of fades out. It's really nice. And we'll come back over here. Actually, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna do that with all of them. Let's start down at the bottom and come up on the bloom. I don't mind these little drips here at all. In fact, I kind of like them. And the, the little air bubbles that popped and gave us that kind of effect, really cool. This one is really soft on the edges and I torched it really well there because there's color coming through that. So it really creates a, a softening effect on the sides. Very cool. How close can I get without getting in the paints? Ooh, there we go. I think I love this combo the best. The uh, the violet deep, or the deep violet with the turquoise green and the golden white. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> uh, and this one here, this one's got the Bordeaux red in it also. And that violet pearl. There's an air bubble I need to pop. That was really nice. Okay, here's the one in the very center, the very first one that I did. So you go up here. Look at how this stem is braided. God, I wish I could duplicate that. That is the coolest effect ever. Look at that. Love it. Um, here we go. Yeah, I love that stem. That is, stem is amazing, that braided stem. Um, and then we come over to the one beside it here, one of the smaller ones also. And this one's the, the um, permanent violet deep with the sky blue. Ooh, and that gold, that's pretty too. Wow. Let's get in there and focus in. Some really pretty cells in this one. Yeah, the, uh, the gecko agrees. That looks like a row of corn on a stalk there. <laughs> Very neat. This one, really kind of whimsical. I know they're got a braided um, stem. Really cool texture in that. I know there are some people who would take their palette knife and try to change some of these shapes, but I always opt for the organic when I can. The less once I've moved my paint, the less I manipulate it, the better. Really, really cool. Love that. Okay, I'll speed this up a little bit. Beautiful. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the petals on that came out really great. A beautiful one. Last one on this side. Turned out great. Got a little bit of braiding there in that stem also. Yep. Great cells. That's got the sky blue light. Love it. Um, we'll just do the other side from here. There's some more braiding on this. I, hmm. I'll have to watch my own video and see how I did that, so I can keep doing it that way. Beautiful.
<laughs> an extra little splat there. Looks like a seed sprouting in the garden. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oof. Okay, this one too. There's not a bad flower in this bunch. Look at the motion on that. So cool. And the way that that gold kind of comes out in lines. That line is very braided there as well. Look at that. Yep. Last one. This one didn't have a clearly defined stem. I suppose I could have scraped it and tried it again, but I really don't mind that they're all a little bit different. I like that they're all a little bit different. Look at those great cells there. Oof. Beautiful shimmer. And so maybe this is a slightly different kind of flower. Or maybe it's hasn't melted, hasn't bloomed all the way yet. So just a bud. Anyway. I am super happy with this. I expect these to, uh, to shift a little bit still uh, and settle as they dry. I will move this up on cups as well because uh, these paints are really thick and I'm not tilting any of it off. So to hopefully keep it from cracking, I will put this up on cups so that there's a good five or six inches below, below the edge of the canvas and the table so that there's some airflow underneath. So it dries not just on the top, but it dries from underneath as well. That should help keep it from cracking. Um, but there you go. I really think, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually, I like this orientation better. I really do. That's cool. Yep, great motion side to side. That's I like that a lot. So we'll see when it's dried, but um, that's my current thinking. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, come back and see me sometime. Thanks again.